Hey everybody, welcome to Devotionables, brief devotions for busy people. My name is Jason Durking. Uh, my wife Abby and I are part of IC5 Bible Fellowship Group led by Gabe Heinerman and Tino Soto. And today we are continuing a series on big words of the Bible. And today's topic is sin. I'd like to start by asking a question. Are human beings born basically good or basically bad? Are we born good or are we born bad? Your answer to this question will uh, largely determine your worldview on sin and humanity and a range of other issues from relationships to politics and all the way to your view on salvation. So to help answer that question, let's go to scripture, uh, starting back toward the beginning in Genesis chapter 2, verses 16 and 17. And the Lord commanded the man, saying, You may surely eat of every tree of the garden, but of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil you shall not eat. For in the day that you eat of it, you shall surely die. So the first thing we see here is that the Lord gave that commandment to the man. And how do we know that, that he didn't give the commandment to the woman or to the man and the woman together? Uh, Well, in the very next verse, we see that the woman had not yet been created. Uh, So we also see the result of this in Genesis chapter 3. After Adam and Eve have eaten of the fruit, God has cursed the serpent. God has detailed the curse for the woman. But notice what he does in Genesis chapter 3 verse 17 when he speaks to the man. And to Adam he said, because you have listened to the voice of your wife and have eaten of the tree. So the sin here was Adam's. And Paul, uh, in Romans chapter 5, verses 12, supports this by saying, sin came into the world through one man, Adam, and death through sin. And so death spread to all men because all sinned. And in Romans chapter 3, verses 23, for all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. And Romans 3, 10, None is righteous, no, not one. So we are all born with a sin nature. We are not born basically good, we are born separated from God. But we also see here in the beginning of Genesis chapter 3, the pattern of Satan's temptation to sin. In the very beginning in Genesis chapter 3 verse 1 through 5, you see Satan say to the woman, did God actually say? So he starts here by questioning the word of God. Did God actually say what you think he said? Then he goes, number two, to contradicting the word of God. He says, you will not surely die. God says to Adam, eat of the fruit, you will surely die. Satan says, you will not surely die, directly contradicting the word of God. And then he goes to questioning the character of God. He says, God knows that when you eat of it, your eyes will be open and you will be like God. The implication here is that God is not telling us the whole story or God does not want us to be happy. He questions uh, the character of God. But then in the woman's response, next, we see our nature, uh, the nature of sin and how we are brought to sin. Uh, The woman sees that the tree was good for food. Uh, This is Uh, We sin through the lust of the flesh. Next, she saw that the tree was pleasing to the eyes. Uh, The desire of our eyes leads us to sin. And then that she saw that the tree and the fruit was desired to make one wise. This is our desire to be like God, to be our own God, this uh, idolization of autonomy. Um, We see this very prominently in our culture today uh, when we hear things like follow your heart or uh, be true to yourself or live your truth. Friends, there is only one truth, and that is God's truth. So what can we do about sin in our lives? The answer is the gospel, the good news of Jesus Christ. Jesus, the one unlike us, born not under the curse of sin, inherited from Adam, but born of a virgin, conceived by the Holy Spirit, that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. So be encouraged, put your faith in Jesus, 
Rejoice in the good news, for he has overcome the world. Thanks for watching.